Okay. All right. I'm Grant Laharat. I'm with Scryhive Industries, and I'm showing off my web browser physics. Cool. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay. So we wanted to do a web browser that was much more fun than your regular web browser. Uh, so we looked at how browsers work today, or how people use the internet today, and they use it mostly consume a lot of. They consume their news, their video, that kind of content, and they also share that content with social media sites. So I'll just show you one of the things we did that's different than a regular browser. I'll just execute a Twitter search. You got a topic you like? Uh, Seattle Sounders. So first thing we do is search results are painted on the side and when you browse the search results, we'll load it and if it actually contains content, we actually yeah. load the content. So you're just doing a Twitter stream uh, yeah. search right now. Yeah. So you can Twitter segment search. That. Okay. And then we unwrap the contents of the Twitter stream. So if there's a link in it, we expose the link. Okay. So you'll notice we're not navigating away like you would normally in a lot of Twitter and other Twitter browsers. We're trying to keep you from having to navigate. That's pretty cool. So the Twitter stream on the left column is then corresponding with what you're seeing in the main page on, on, on this right side, on the main yeah. screen. Because you want to get through the content quickly and you yeah. want to view the content, so you can just arrow down with the arrow keys and move through your content. That's pretty nifty. Is anyone else doing anything like that? We don't think anyone's done anything like this. Huh. Uh, we also can do this with uh, other sources. So. Underneath, we're just interacting with web services of all kinds. We're bypassing the browser whenever we can. So YouTube, we completely bypass the browser. So now you can work through the, you can work through your uh, video. Yeah, wow, that's nifty. Power through it quickly. And then if, it's, if there's a search or something you like, like content, you find people like to save their content. So one way we can save content is we can just say, I like Seattle Sounders, I'm just going to save that out. And much later, at any time, I could just go ahead and execute. So why a new browser? As I, as I mentioned to you earlier, there's tons of competition here. Firefox, Chrome, Microsoft. They're all you don't big. see many startups uh, in this arena. They're all big, but you know, uh, uh, a small, scrappy startup has some opportunity to innovate where the big guys can't. Okay. You know, I could go into a lot of details about why the big guys can't do certain things, but uh, okay, you know, it's kind of fun, and we we really just want to find out what people want. Part of this is to go out there and actually show people the app and, and figure out what they need to make browsing more fun. Cool. And so yeah. you're coming out of public uh, into a public beta tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay. And that's going to be the first time the world's seen this? Uh, well, we, we did show a video. We had a video up on our site for about a month. Okay. And yeah. what's your background? Uh, I'm a software architect. I used to uh, work in consumer software. I was in electronic arts, another company called Broader Bund. Okay. Cool. Um, and are there any other... Uh, Features that you can show other than the uh, segmenting by YouTube or Twitter content in the search? And news searches, right? So that's like a. Well, I guess uh, Bing has nothing to. Let's try Washington, not the Washington Post, right? We'll try Obama, but we do search regular news sites. So this is Huffington Post. So this is if you just want to set, search the. The the, uh, the entire web is that right? <laughs> not not just yeah, yeah. Uh, not just Twitter. Yeah, or the entire web. Okay. Uh, and my so Twitter you can do follows. that too. Yeah, <laughs> I can follow. Check you know I can check on my followers. There's Tim Rehas site right. You know so I can blast through my old Twitter feeds. We make it easy to share things. So if I want to tweet something, I just go off here. Common user interface for a lot of different social media sites, email, Facebook, Twitter. So it's Very just cool. one, two clicks to actually tweet something or send something to your network. That's cool. Hey, thanks for showing it to me tonight. You're welcome. All right.